uh, my name's Fred Stokes. I'm from Mississippi. <clears throat> I'm the old guy in the crowd. Uh, I've been at this thing a very long time, and it's people like you that give us renewed hope after many years of frustration. Uh, I was involved even before the, this uh, program became law. The idea was to promote beef in the face of fierce competition from chickens. Uh, I've told people we had bumper stickers that said, promote beef, run over a chicken. So, so uh, That's why they don't cross the road, right? Right. But I have to say that if the objective is to promote beef, it's been a miserable failure. During the life of the program, we spent $3 billion. We have cut per, comp per capita consumption of beef in half, and we have more than doubled the consumption of poultry. The, so it would seem as a promotion program, it's been a waste of money, but the one ill that it is, uh, is done during the life of the program is establish a, an advocate for the packers as the voice of the beef pet cattle producer. Uh, that is a direct result of, of the, the checkoff. There are many of us in our ranks that say that we have been compelled to fund our demise. Mm. <clears throat> so the 83 cents out of every dollar NCBA gets comes from the checkoff. In 2010, there was an independent outside audit that took a look at the contract that they've had and some of the expenditures, and they found some pretty big errors. The result of that was the return of initially $210,000, and then later on, uh, more money for a total of over $300,000. This was the result of examining transactions 1% of the transactions for two years and five months. If you want to do the math, that's nine days. Wow. So that indicates that there was misappropriation at a rate of $33,000 a day. Hmm. So we're talking, and, and the figure you hear is, is 210,000 or 300,000. How about multiplying 33,000 a day of, uh, across the 25 years that they have been the contractor. Oh. Uh, and and sure. I'm sorry, are we still there? I'm here. Oh, okay, I'm sorry, the computer's playing tricks. But in any event, I don't want to belabor the well, point. Keep up in the, uh, but but uh, like we, we need to fix this thing. Yeah. And the, the, the greatest, uh, problem within the program is that it sustains NCBA as the voice of the cowboy. So long as that situation exists, the, the future is not bright for, for cattle producers. Thank you, sir. Those figures are so compelling when you lay them out like that per day. It's hard to argue against that. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you, sir. Yeah.